everyone. Thanks for being here. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina and I do DIY videos, painting tutorials, and just everyday life adventures. Today, what we're going to, uh, the project that we're going to make is uh, a black Halloween wreath cat. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is go over the materials with you. You're going to need one of the snowman wreaths from the dollar store. You're going to need some black mesh, black and yellow felt, Halloween ribbons, pipe cleaners, and you're also going to need a non-slip rug underlay. It's like it goes underneath the rug, um, like in the living room or the bathroom or, you know, wherever you have a rug. And so it doesn't slip. It's like an underlay uh, layer that goes underneath your rug. So you're going to need a pack, a package of this. I did buy, I did find a package at uh, the dollar store. So you just need one package. Um, some wire cutters, a marker, a 12 inch uh, ruler, scissors a rotary cutter, and a, your glue gun with some glue sticks, of course, and um, zip ties. You're definitely going to need some zip ties. Um, probably a packet will do, a packet of 25. You're not going to use the whole thing. You just need a couple of these. So um, the first thing we're going to want to do is I have, I did do it um, off camera already, but those of you that shop at the dollar store know that the um, snowman wreath comes with a little hat up here. So it's like there's a little hat up here and then it comes with two little arms. And um, what I went ahead and did was with my wire cutters, I, I took the arms off from each side and then I took off the hat. The hat was a little bit harder. Um, so when I took it off, I kind of bent it up here bit the frame a little bit, but it's okay because we're going to cover that up with the mesh. So don't worry about that at all. Okay. So the first thing after you um, take all the little extra wiring off of your um, frame is you're going to take your, your non-slip rug underlay material. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Oh. So you're not going to use this whole thing. Just going to use some of it. It's a pretty large portion they give you. And basically what we're going to do is you're going to take that marker or that, um, that felt pen, whatever you want to use that's going to show up on this material. So I'm going to put this over my frame and I'm going to on the, on the, the frame has two layers, the outer layer and the inner layer on both the top and the bottom uh, circle. So on the second, on the inner of the second um, frame, you're going to just outline this. So I'm basically outlining it. And it's okay if it's a little bit long, you know, it's a little bit wider than the frame but so you're kind of going in between both of the wire frames and you're just outlining it and then you're going to do the same thing to the larger one so we're going to do the top one and i'm going to show you how to do it and you're going to do the bottom one exactly how you do the top one So I, I outlined it. I don't know if you could see that, but I outlined it like in the middle here. 
And now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut that. And you can take a, a darker marker or I, I just had the felt pen handy. So that's what I used. And I'm just going around that outline that I just did. There you go. You see how it kind of overlays it, overlays the, um, the inner layer of the wire frame? That's what we want. And then you're also going to do the same to the bottom. So you're just going to trace it in the middle of both of these frames. And then you're going to cut it, just like I did this one. I'm just going to show you how to do the top one. And then you can do the bottom one. Okay, so after you have that cut, you're going to go ahead and kind of stretch it out. And you're going to take your um, you can use pipe cleaners too for this, but um, I kind of like using um, oh my gosh, I totally forgot <laughs> how to call this now. I'll remember. But anyway, I'm going to use these right here because they're sturdier. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, zip ties. Yay. I remember <laughs> I knew it come to me. I don't know why I forget. Um, so the zip ties are sturdier, but if you don't have zip ties, you can use pipe cleaners. Um, so you're basically going to take one of those, these little squares, and you're going to loop it. So I'm kind of trying to, cause you, you're going to try to want to stretch the circle so it can be around here. It doesn't have to be perfectly around or, uh, you know, covering the whole thing, but cause you are going to put the mesh in between some of these circles. So I'm just kind of picking one of my squares. I'm putting it in the inner, in the inner, um, wire and then I'm going to go ahead and okay see how that's attached now okay so now I'm going to do another one okay I want another one right here try not to pull it too much so you can get it, you know, so, cause you have the other side to do too. So here's another one and I'm going to pull it. There you go. Okay. So I'm probably going to want to put one here, here, and then here, and that should be enough just so it doesn't, you know, so it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Put one here. Now, if you want to put more then you know, you can, but you know, I've done it before, you know, um, and you really don't need one in every single hole. You just need it on every side to kind of like just stretch it and keep it stretched for when you put the, the mesh in between here. So it doesn't pop out. So I'm probably going to use five of these zip ties. So let's see. You see how I'm putting it on the inside of this wire and I'm gonna, there you go. And I'm gonna put one more right here and that should do it. Now, of course the bottom needs a little bit more, but probably I'm going to say maybe like two more on the bottom. There you go. And you see how that's stretched? That's perfect. I, you know, you don't need one here or, you know, I mean, if you want to, you can, you know, um, secure it better, but this, this is all you really need. And you're going to, 
clip off all the excess. Okay. And, um, okay, so now pretend like we did it on the bottom too. So we have the top and the bottom. And the next thing you're going to want to do after you put that underlining um, on this wreath, you're going to want to go ahead and take your mesh. Now, I did, um, I purchased uh, six black, um, six inch mesh tubes from the dollar store. And the six tubes were only enough to fill the top of my wreath. So I did go back to a couple of dollar stores to look for more black mesh and I couldn't find any black mesh at my dollar stores. So they are doing away with Halloween and bringing out Christmas. So I did go to Michael's and they are having, um, they're having a sale right now on mesh and ribbon. Um, so I did purchase two of these um, mesh tubes. I purchased the 25 inch by 35 feet tube and the reason why I made sure it was a 12 inch one was because um, I want to cut it into six inches and because it's 12 um, so it can match my dollar store tubing that I bought or mesh tubing that I bought I'm going to just um, I'm going to measure the six inches and then I'm going to cut it down the middle and then I'm just going to cut it into six inches again. So it's going to be like, and I'm only doing that because I bought a larger tube and they didn't have any five by five or six inches at Michael's. This is all they really had. So I'm going to, so I'm going to go ahead and work with this. So if you happen to get this and you can't find any of the six inch tubing at Michael's or Joann's or you know any of your craft, local craft stores or at your dollar store, then this is an, uh, a quick fix to it. So basically what I did was I just put my 12 inch ruler down and I And I just took so I would cut right here you see that so basically what I'm gonna do is let me go ahead and move all this aside and put this this way and all I'm doing is I'm cutting making sure it's the six inches Now, I'm only going to cut up to there because um, I am just going to get you started. Okay, and then I would now do the six inches again. And then I can just kind of layer it on top of one another and then just keep cutting. Now, even though the mesh tubing, the mesh is, you know, more expensive at my craft store, it goes a long way because I, I mean, if you would just get two of these tubes, that's probably all you would need. You probably wouldn't even use both of the tubes, but because the dollar store um, mesh tubing, the tubes are so tiny, then you need like a lot of them. So it probably comes up to the same price if you buy it from a craft store or from the dollar store.
Now I did use a whole one of these um, for the bottom, the bottom of my wreath. So I used one whole one of these for the bottom of the wreath. And then for the top, I used six um, dollar store um, of the little tubes. So I used six of those for the top and then a whole one of these um, for the bottom. So this one is like uh, 12 inches by um, 35 feet. So I used all 35 feet. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you um, how you would kind of just get started. So you would take some of your pipe cleaners and you're going to fold them in half. And you're just going to kind of cut them. There you go. And I did get a bag of 25. I got two bags of 25s and I, I kind of used both of them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to roll it and then stick it in between your thumb and your finger and then keep it there and then roll, roll, not too tight, not too loose. And you're going to get bundles of three, and then you're going to tie it. And then how you're going to get started is you're going to start from the outside. So I'm going to put my pipe cleaner around the outside and grab one of these little squares. And then you're going to twist. There you go. And then you're going to grab another one. One. Two. Three. And then you're going to zip tie them. Okay, and then which um, you're going to want to go ahead and kind of, you, you know, you're going to want to go around to about right here. You don't try not to put one all the way down here because then you're gonna, we're gonna put like a little bow collar on the cat. And if you have one here, it's gonna be really hard. So you're probably gonna go, wanna go like almost all the way down, maybe like a, a finger away from where the other wreath starts. So maybe down here and then the same on the other side. So you're gonna kind of do all the outside and then you're slowly going to start doing the inside. And there's no, um, there's no wrong way how many of these uh, of these squares that you grab. Um, you're just going to kind of eye it and you're just going to keep filling it up until you don't see any, you know, like everything looks black. You don't see any um, spaces. So, it, you know, I'm going to put one here and then I'm probably going to skip like all the way over here. And you don't want to stretch this, um, the material too much because... It, it, it does rip, it's kind of fragile. It's kind of like a rubbery material. Okay, see? And I kind, of, I kind of went in between like three of the little squares and then I grabbed it and then I tied it. So it doesn't matter if you grab, you know, some of them I did grab four on the corner. Um, it, you just want to fill it up until it looks full. So you're just going to keep going all the way around and a finger from where the ne next one starts. And then once you start the bottom, remember we put this down here and then you're just going to go do the same thing. You're going to go around and then you're just going to start filling in the squares on the inside until it's all filled up. Okay. 
and it does take a while so you know it's probably nice to just do it in front of the TV or just watch one of your shows <laughs> so this is what it's going to look like when you are completely done okay there you go just trying to try to move some of this stuff and this is what it's going to look like so you can kind of see because i didn't do it all the way you can kind of see you see where looks like a little head and a neck and then the body and I filled it up pretty good because I mean I could probably get away with less mesh but I just really wanted it full like this so I thought it was really it's nice when it's all filled up like this okay so the next thing we're gonna want to do is we're going to want to you're going to put this aside and you're going to want to do grab your black mesh and you're going to want to do a tail so we're going to give this cat a tail and some ears and some eyes okay so I don't have you know like I don't um, I kind of like eye everything so with the tail I kind of I kind of know now if you if you feel more comfortable with um, uh, you know with the chalk material you, you know the chalk that you can write on the material with um, go ahead and you can outline everything um, feel free to do that but I kind of eye everything so I know I want a tail and I want a long tail for my cat. You can have a straight tail, you can have a curly tail. Just remember, you're gonna have to stuff it. So um, try to think of how big you want your tail. And you're gonna want it, you're gonna want it to where it kind of like, it's gonna show, cause you're gonna attach it to the back and then you're gonna wanna do it to where it comes out. So your tail is gonna come out so you can actually see your tail. So you, you are going to want it to be a little bit long. So I'm going to say, let's see. You're going to fold this. You're going to fold the felt. And then you're definitely going to do a 12-inch a tail. Yeah. So it's a little bit over 12 inches but we can cut it so I kind of fo I fold my felt my black felt and then I'm gonna kind of cut it go ahead and cut there you go and then you're gonna kind of um, let's see so I'm gonna do my tail a little bit to the side so I'm just gonna start on the bottom and then kind of bring it like that and then the bottom's a little bit you know fatter then we, then we can then we can cut it and adjust it and then the top is a little bit skinnier and then we're going to round that off okay and save this belt because you're going to make some ears and some eyes so the bottom is nice and then the top I mean if you want to round it off some more I kind of like how that turned out and then what you're going to do is um, you are going to glue each side now you're going to start gluing just not even half maybe just a uh, glue maybe like uh, three inches of it and then after you glue that you're gonna stuff it I, I used all my stuffing earlier for my tail and my ears that I made earlier so I don't have any more stuffing but um, you can stuff it w with whatever you have handy 
I, I mean, I usually stuff it when I, I run out of stuffing. I usually do it with my Walmart bags because I have an endless supply of Walmart bags. But um, I did stuff it, you know, with um, regular um, craft stuffing. And so I probably glued it um, three inches down and then I stuffed it. So you're going to glue it. And then after it's stuffed, you're going to go down a little bit more, three more inches. And then you're going to stuff it, stuff it, stuff it. And then you're just gonna work your way down until it's all the way down. And you can just grab something like the edges of your scissors. You can grab your pen, um, something long, and then just you know finish stuffing it. And then you're gonna have a stuffed tail. Um, I'm gonna show you the finished product. And sorry about that. And this is my finished product, my stuffed tail. So I basically just see it's it's kind of like the same size of this one, a little bit oh a little bit over 12 inches, but you know and I just stuffed it and I glued it and then I stuffed it and you know kind of stays. It's gonna look nice once we attach it. Okay, so we're gonna put this aside and the tail aside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out some ears. You're also going to want some um, different colored felt for the inside of the ear. So you're going to do the outside of the ear black, and then you're going to do the inside of the ear, um, whichever, like I, my ears, I did them with purple felt because that's what I had handy, but you can use orange, you can use yellow, um, you can use, you know, whatever color you want for your Halloween cat. And then the ears are, you know, pretty easy. It's kind of like you, you're, so this is my leftover felt that I'm using. And basically you're just making, let me see. I did make some ears already. And here are my ears that I previously, uh, I made pre previously. Um, and so I used my purple felt on the outside. See, it's nothing fancy. And these are like four inch, four inches. And basically you're just cutting ears out. See, I kind of like just cut ears. So you would just cut your ears with your felt and then you would glue the outside of your ear and then you stuff it. And then you're gonna just cut like a little, um, another ear, but smaller the same shape and then you're going to glue it to the black part to the black to the outer part of the ear so this is going to be the inner part that's you know usually pink or something um on your on your cat but i chose purple and then you know and then the outside is black of course so the ears are very simple to make and the tail i showed you and so now we have a tail and two ears And then also what we're going to make I ha that I have made before. I try to make as much as I can before I start recording. So the video isn't that long, um, but I do show you everything. And if you have any questions, please just um, ask me in the comments. Okay. So the eyes, um, the eyes, basically what I did was I, I, I just cut out how I thought a cat's eye looked. My cat's eyes are kind of like almond shaped. So I kind of cut out with the black felt. I just cut out almond shaped, um, you know, eyes. I cut out two and then, um, I wanted my cat's eyes to be yellow. So I went ahead and I kind of like just cut a little strip to outline the bottom of the black and then I cut a little pupil to put in the middle and that's all I did and it doesn't have to be perfect it's just you know what you what you imagine your cat's eyes to be okay so now since we made the eyes and we made the tail and the ears um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take ribbon, whatever ribbon you want to use. Okay. 
So whatever Halloween ribbon you have on hand, um, I, I went ahead and chose the multicolor one right here. I really, I really like this ribbon. I, I did order this from Amazon. It was a pack of six and I couldn't find any ribbon I liked at the dollar store or at any of my craft stores. So I did order it from um, Amazon and I, I really like all this ribbon, but I chose this polka dotted one um, to go as I'm going to use this as my cat's collar and I'm also going to do like a little bow with it. Okay. So I did cut out, I did cut out um, a long portion of the ribbon. Um, what I did was I took that ribbon and I, and I did put it around my, I did kind of like put it around right here because this is the neck and I went ahead and, and cut it out and then I folded it in half like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of find that center and I'm going to, you don't want to, you don't want to push it down too much. You kind of want to, you know, kind of let it stay poofy a little bit in the front like that. And then I'm going to flip it over. And all this back here, this can all be cleaned up. I just haven't done it yet. And also, um, you can also take some of that black felt and you can cover the back. So you're just gonna take your felt and you're gonna just um, measure your circle, put one on the bottom, one on the top, um, and then it'll clean this up right away. So you won't see any of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue my ribbon Try not to burn yourself. Woo, that is hot. Okay. I'm gonna flip it and there's the little collar. And you can use any ribbon you want for this, anything you want does not, you know, I just like it because it has different Halloween colors and it also has purple in there to match my ears. Okay, and then um, you can also add a bow. Now you can add your bow any way you want. You could put it in the front, you could put it on the side. You don't have to add a bow at all. You can just leave it like that. I did go ahead and make a bow and here is my bow. So I did take some purple and some purple ribbon and then some of that polka dotted um, ribbon and I kind of put them together. And I think I'm gonna add this um, and I'm gonna put it kind of like sideways like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this off. And then try to add this to the side here. I'm just gonna put it to the side. I'm gonna here you go. my bow to the side like that okay now also I almost forgot I did take some of my purple pipe cleaners and I made some whiskers and what I did was I took the pipe cleaners and I cut them in half and I took three and I kind of just glued the middle the middle pipe cleaner that I'm going to use for the cat whisker. And then I kind of just put the other, added the other ones on top like this. See, I'm just adding them. I'm going to put a little bit more glue there and I'm just making like some little cat whiskers and you can make them any color you want. 
like if you have, you know, I just like highlighting um, my ears and then my bow. Um, if you have green ears, a green bow, maybe you want the green uh, sparkly whiskers that they have. Um, you can make them any color you want and then they kind of stay and there's your whiskers and you just make a set of, a set of two. Okay. So here are my whiskers. You see that? And you kind of just eye it. You put your whiskers where you want and you're going to glue them on there. Just kind of, let me see like that. You can even add a nose if you want. It's all up to you. I thought about adding a nose and then I didn't. Nose would be cute too. Let me see where my eyes. So let's see here. Can you see that? I don't want to. So we're going to kind of do something like that. And like I said, it's, you know, it's all up to you, you know, where you want to put all this. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the, on the edge of my whisker. And then I'm going to kind of stick it in there. Like that. And I'm going to do my other one, grab my other whiskers. and then kind of stick it in there. There you go. And you can play with them and Okay? And now I'm going to do my eyes. them where you think they look best. There you go. Now you got whiskers and eyes and a bow and a cat collar. Now comes the fun part. Now we're going to add the ears that we made earlier. So we're just going to kind of like, um, we're just going to insert it like on the top and push it down and we're going to go ahead and add glue to the bottom. Just add a generous amount and then you're going to kind of open up the top and then you're going to kind of stick them in there. There you go. There's one set of ears, or not a set, but that's one ear. <laughs> and now we're gonna do the other ear. So just put a generous amount of glue on the bottom. And then you're gonna kind of, let me go ahead and try to move this so you could see better. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put this right here. And there you go. And there you go, there's your ears. Isn't that cute? Um, yes. Uh, what we're going to do now is add the last thing, the tail. Now, the tail can be tricky. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to take one of these, one of these zip ties, and we're going to um, kind of try to make a little hole. I'm going to say, let's see. I haven't done this before. I haven't um, actually tried adding the tail. Let's go ahead and add it this way. Okay, so let's see. We are going to see how we're going to do this. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take the zip tie, okay, and we're going to tie it. And we're going to gently just put it on its side and see where we, oh, where we want to put it. Because we want the tail to kind of like that. So I think I'm going to put my tail kind of.
kind of like this. Can you guys, I don't know if you guys could see. I'm going to gently just put it down because I just glued all that stuff. Okay, so I think I'm going to put it right here. And you're just going to go through all these. This might be a little bit hard because you're going to have to make it come back up. Mm. Yeah. And that's why I try to do as much as I can off the camera because I never know <laughs> what's going to work and what isn't. Okay, so let me try to grab that. There it is. I'm trying to make it come through one of these little holes. I think I got it. Okay, just try not to cut yourself or hurt yourself. Okay, so now I went, I brought the tail through one of these little holes, the one of the little squares in the back, and then you're just going to zip tie it. There you go. Then you're gonna cut that off. Now remember, you can um, take your the black felt, like I said, and you can cover this whole back and make it look really neat, and the top too. So um, I'm not gonna do that on camera, but I probably will go ahead and clean this up off camera. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Oh, kind of squished our little whiskers here. Let's straighten these out. Okay, and there's the tail. Look how cute that is. See how that tail is? So you got the tail, you got the ears, and you have yourself a adorable Halloween wreath cat. And it wasn't really that hard. It was, it didn't, didn't take that long and um, the outcome is just really, really cute. I really appreciate you guys being here with me today. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Until our next Creative Rendezvous, stay inspired.